Marcellus, I'm going to go to you first. Who gives the 49ers a better chance of winning the Super Bowl? Trey Lance or Jimmy G? Oh, it's Jimmy G, the winner. You know who Jimmy G is, that genie in the lamp. All he can do is win when he's healthy. Take this team to the Super Bowl in his only healthy year as a starter. And it's not even really close. But I'm going to do something here and take you guys through a journey. My journey is going to be woven into the journey of my man Trey Lance to let you know why this is Jimmy G's job, or at least it should be. Uh, let's talk about one. Trey Lance is going to learn to find art one day of throwing from the pocket. But right now, he doesn't know how to throw from the pocket. In the pocket, oh man, you gotta understand how this goes. Let's talk about his issues in the pocket and his 46.3 completion percentage in the preseason. Oh, oh, it's just preseason, let's talk about college. Oh, the same guy who's thrown and completed only 15 passes in the last two years? No, 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 before that. Oh, the guy who has only 318 pass attempts in 17 games at North Dakota State. Fewest college passes thrown by a first-round quarterback in 40 years. Hmm, let's go back in time since we talked about 40 years ago. There's a guy by the name of Joel Bushbaum. Respect to the guy, the guru, the inspiration behind the NFL draft, basically. This guy was the purest of the sport. Now, I remember coming out of college, and I remember reading all the evaluators talking about me and my skill set. And it's so funny to hear about people talk about you versus what you know about yourself, right? And I was reading everybody. I don't want to name any names like Mel Kuyper. I want to read, name any names like Todd Mache. I want to name any names. But only one of them nailed me, and it hurt because he hit me right where it hurt. He said, great athlete, will be good, uh, maybe injury prone, and has tight hips. Nobody else saw that. Nobody else said that. Everyone else was just, man, look how big and fast and strong he is and what he did at the combine. And Joe Bushbaum nailed me. Why I bring that up? Because I don't know who wrote this on Trey Lance, but somebody may have nailed him. Locks on to primary read. Takes off running when first read is covered. Slow to work through progressions. Needs to get comfortable throwing into tight windows. When I saw him in the preseason, because I actually saw him in the preseason, went to the Chargers game, 49ers Chargers. I saw a guy who has some of those same issues. It's okay. This is just a month of him playing NFL football versus a veteran, a winner in Jimmy G. So if the 49ers are smart, if they really want to give themselves the best opportunity for success, this is not a conversation. It's Jimmy G's job. Yeah, Trey Lance gives them the best chance of winning the Super Bowl because it's not about who you believe Marcellus gives them the best chance or even who I think gives them the best chance. Mm -hmm. It's who Kyle Shanahan thinks gives them the best chance because that's the guy who's going to be given the best chance to win the Super Bowl. And based on everything that I've seen to this point, uh, Trey, uh, Kyle Shanahan is tipping the scales in Trey Lance's favor, sure. trying to find every which way, not only that he can build him up and get him ready as quickly as possible, but even uh, tipping the scales when it comes to how he's being graded. You're right. The numbers and statistics say that it wasn't a, a stellar preseason. And yet when he has struggled, and then done well after the fact, Kyle Shanahan has made that a plus, saying that's exactly what I needed to see. I needed to see him struggle and then see that he was capable of recovering. We know what Kyle Shanahan believes when it comes to Jimmy G. He believes that he's not good enough to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they would not have spent all that they did in order to get Trey Lance. And I dare say that the play calling is going to be different between the two he's going and Joe Staley speaks to it like the the play calling is going to be dynamic for Trey Lance far more dynamic than it is for Jimmy G and it was as a result if we're asking who's going to have the best chance of winning the Super Bowl for the 49ers it's the guy who's going to be given that chance and and had that chance amplified by exactly how the game is called. You know, I think both of you guys make terrific arguments. And in fact, I believe both guys are essential for the 49ers making a Super Bowl run. Jimmy Garoppolo is 22-8 and eight as the 49ers starter. 
We have seen when healthy, what he's been able to do in this <laughs> offense. It moves. He can operate from the pocket, outside the pocket. Jimmy Garoppolo does a great job of playing within the confines of the system that Kyle Shanahan wants to create. However, Kyle Shanahan's imagination runs wild when he has an opportunity to put Trey Lance on the field. He gets a chance to do the fun stuff that offensive coaches like to do. Draw up plays, utilize the guy, take advantage of all of his talent as a runner to enhance what is already a very dangerous running game. I believe this comes from Kyle Shanahan being able to pop in tape and look at what the Baltimore Ravens have been able to do in leading the league and rushing in each of the past two years with Lamar Jackson being the point man. When you have a guy like Trey Lance who forces defenses to play 11-on-11 football to an offense that's already creative in the running game, it creates mismatches and headaches for defensive coordinators while also bringing in Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo's durability history suggests that Trey Lance is going to get on the field, but I believe that Kyle Shanahan wants to put both of these guys on the field during games to allow the defense to have problems adjusting to the style that he switches with each guy in the game. Okay, let's get there. Let's go there. Y'all keep talking about Kyle Shanahan, huh? Y'all want to talk about Kyle Shanahan. Oh, man, he over there just imagine how it could be. Oh, my God, if he could get with Trey Lance, look what they can do. Y'all trust Kyle Shanahan? Uh, that's interesting. Y'all trust the coach that has a 433 win percentage? Last time I checked, that's under 500. Oh, y'all trust him? And then you say, well, he doesn't trust Jimmy G. So... He doesn't trust Jimmy G to get the job done, but y'all trust him when Jimmy G's the only quarterback he's ever been able to get the job done with? What sense does that make? You know what Kyle Shanahan gonna do? He gonna do what Devin Adu told you not to do. He said, don't give up for show production. For mo production, you end up with no production. And that's what's gonna happen if y'all try to bench Jimmy G and have Trey Lance out there or even this dual system of let him go in for this series, let him go in there for this play. It makes no sense. Jimmy G is 22 and 8 as a starter. Kyle Shanahan is 7 and 27 without Jimmy G. And y'all trust Kyle Shanahan. Okay, go ahead. It's funny, y'all trust Kyle Shanahan to say, Let's share the opportunities with Jimmy G and Trey Lance. I ask you guys, would you do this with Patrick Mahomes? Would you do this with Lamar Jackson? No, no. So why in the hell are you going to do it with Jimmy G when Jimmy G has led his team to the third most points per game of any starting quarterback since 1970? And the only two in front of him are Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. So we ain't going to make them share time because, duh, that's dumb. How come we're not looking at the guy who's right behind him as like, yeah, that's kind of dumb as well. Jimmy G has one issue, staying healthy. I get it. So let's play him until he gets hurt. But until then, we're not sharing his experience because the resume shows that with Jimmy G, not only are you going to score, but you're going to win. Yeah, the only problem I have with that is that you're making it sound as if Jimmy G did all that by himself and never oh. had Kyle Shanahan with him. The Kyle Shanahan has just been a Trey Lance guy. Like, they just both arrived on the scene. And why are you changing things up? Because <laughs> Jimmy G has been so good up to this point. Here's the other problem. Again, you're kind of bringing up all the reasons why Kyle Shanahan might get fired for going with Trey Lance, which is a conversation for another day. And who true, knows? True. We may get there. It's just a matter for me of... Who gives them the best chance? And based on giving up three first-round picks and a third in order to get Trey Lance, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan are almost forced to find a way to justify spending all that to get Trey mm. Lance by giving him every opportunity mm. to do the one thing that Jimmy G couldn't, which was finish the deal. Otherwise... They have to answer the question, well, wait a minute. Why did we trade all those picks to get a guy that can't play ahead of, get ahead of the guy that we already had? So for me, the, the problem that Jimmy G faces is that the die is already cast. When the 49ers mm. made the move to get, to get Trey Lance, they were putting their bet on Trey Lance, getting them to the place, the one thing that Jimmy G could not, which is a Super Bowl win. Mm. You know, Rick, I appreciate you leaving that for me because I'm going to speak it in Marcellus's terms. Uh, Marcellus, I think uh, two rappers, the late Nipsey Hussle and YG said, 
last time that I checked. Mm. Well, the last time that I checked with Jimmy Garoppolo, he is always hurt. And when he's always hurt, he's unavailable. So then Kyle Shanahan is always having to go to the bullpen. So rather than put him out there so he ultimately disappoints him, what he wants to do is maybe make him a part-time player. Maybe utilize mm. him at times, Trey Lance, to take some of the pressure off of Jimmy Garoppolo. Because we know ultimately what history says is Jimmy Garoppolo is going to miss some time. So I need to get the young guy ready to be able to assume the responsibilities of a starter so this offense can continue to go on. I can talk about the two quarterback platoon and why I believe it would be successful, but ultimately the San Francisco 49ers have to have two quarterbacks because QB1 is somewhere down the line going to be unavailable. So it's not about Jimmy Garoppolo being removed, even though they took Trey Lance number three overall because they want to replace him. It's the odds in his history saying he is not going to be available. So let me get someone who can do what we want to do when he's sitting on the sidelines and we don't have to have the offense skip a beat. Oh, man. Hey, look, look, I get it. You got to justify the pick. And I, I understand the job security that's motivating them to justify the pick. I get all that. We're, look, survival of the fittest. I get it. But damn, like, y'all been in a relationship. Y'all married men. Y'all understand this. My wife tries to justify her purchases sometimes as well. Uh, she buy that bag. I'm like, why you buy that bag? And then she try to justify it instead of just taking the damn bag back, right? So all of a sudden, uh, look, baby, I'm, let's go bowling. She bringing that big ass bag. I'm like, why you bringing that big expensive bag? We going bowling. You know, we going, just going to the park. You don't have to do everything just because it's in tow. What you should do in priority is use up Jimmy Garoppolo, because as you guys keep telling me, he's always hurt. Okay, if he's always hurt, he's healthy right now. So let's use him right now until he gets injured. Then you have your insurance policy called Trey Lance. Best chance when Jimmy G has the fourth best win percentage of all quarterbacks since the merger. And y'all trying to tell me, oh, Trey Lance gives them the best chance. What is he going to be? Top three? Miss me with that.